You've started your Etsy shop, listed your product, and for a while you don't see any sales coming in. What is it that maybe you're doing wrong? Let me tell you. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and how to make more money online. So if you're interested in these topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. The first thing you're probably thinking is, can you even make Etsy sales without running ads as a complete beginner by just listing your first few products? Absolutely, it is more than possible. Most people do it without running ads and just by doing SEO optimization and the things that I'll talk to you about in this video. So let me show you what are some things that you may be doing wrong if you don't get these results. The first thing you might be doing wrong is that you didn't optimize your Etsy shop. The main thing you want to do when you start your Etsy account, when you start your Etsy shop, is optimize your shop for sales. Even before you add your first product, you want your shop to be a branded one, to have a high quality profile image and cover image that represent your brand, to optimize your sales and shipping policies, add some images of your products and explain your behind the scenes and what your process looks like, and write down any details that will help your shop's viewers become customers. The next reason is that your shop and products are not not niched. If the types of products that you add to your Etsy shop are in too many categories and even worse you mix physical with digital products, people are going to be very confused about your expertise and they're not going to shop a product from your shop if your products don't have a niche. Or if the creator of the shop doesn't seem to have an expertise in a certain domain or if the products just don't tie up together. This is why you need to make sure that your Etsy shop has a niche and that your products are tying up together and they have a common element. You can easily niche your shop by the type of product that you create by writing the descriptive sentence below your shop name and by creating and adding your products into certain shop sections. Now another reason why you are not making sales with your Etsy shop is that you didn't optimize your product listings well enough. You can list as many products as you want on Etsy but if you don't research them before actually creating the products or posting them and if you don't research keywords for them before posting them, if you don't optimize the product's title, description, tags for SEO by using those keywords, your products has really low chances at ranking in search and showing up when somebody is searching for your product, which will automatically make you not make any sales for a really long time. If you want to learn how to use Etsy SEO, where to add keywords, how to find keywords, make sure to watch this video right here that will help you make more sales with your Etsy shop. A really good tip for your listing optimization is also really focusing on your thumbnail image and your listing images because the thumbnail image is the first thing that somebody sees when they search for your product. Be sure to brand or your listing images and include all 10 of them, as well as include a listing video for your product. Another reason why you might not be getting sales on your Etsy shop is that you're not adding new products consistently and you're not being active on Etsy in general. If you want your shop to grow, more of your products getting found, adding new products consistently is a must. People are much more likely to click on your shop and purchase something from your shop if you have more than 100 products, for example, than they would if they click on your shop and you have one product listed. So try adding two or three new products every single week to your Etsy shop. And another reason why you might not be getting sales on Etsy is that your Etsy products don't have enough favorite product views, listing views, your shop doesn't have admirers, and in general your shop is not getting the attention you want. And for that to start happening for you, I suggest joining Etsy teams and participating in discussions to increase your listings favorites, views, and more. That is if you want to get found organically and for your listing to rank higher up in search so people can find them and purchase them. So go ahead and go to Etsy, your teams, join a few teams and start participating in the discussions every single day. So there you go, these are some mistakes that you might be doing for your Etsy shop that is keeping you from growing and making sales. If you've enjoyed this video and you learned something new, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below for more such content every single week. For more Etsy sales related video, make sure to check out this playlist right here that will teach you more tips on how to grow on Etsy and make that your full-time job. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lydia.IncomingSuccess where I post more content on growing online and making more money. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.